What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Ford Air. Today you got me, Solomon here, and we got Simi. And we need to get the lifted B100 running. So this is our 75 B100 that we got a few weeks back. And the only thing why we're not driving it is the radiator hoses were not connected. So this morning I picked up this universal stainless steel hose kit, which has a bunch of different diameters in it. So that way we can make it happen. We're going to cut it to fit and we're going to show you exactly how we install that, get this thing able to drive and then go take it for a cruise. So we're going to do that right now. So uh, I test made my uh, coolant hose over here and uh, now I'm going to cut it. Always be sure to wear proper eye and ear protection whenever using power tools. Thank you. <laughs> When you buy one of these here adjustable kits, it comes with a sleeve. This is the uh, biggest size it will be. Then you got these sleeves you can put in in order to make it a little, a little smaller. That's what we're doing here. Whenever you're working with stuff with hose clamps, make sure you got them angled so that you could actually tighten them and loosen them the next time because you may not always be in such an easy position when you're on the side of the road, clearly. Technically, it should be good. Should work. Well, we're gonna fill it with water because we don't have any coolant. Make sure that uh, we don't get any leaks and uh, take it for a rip. So. Let's go get some uh, water from the hose. All right, boys and girls, so she is running. We just keep filling up when it is draining in because all of the coolant is going through the system right now. The truck's running nice. So, gonna let it get topped off, get up the temperature. So far, we have no leak. I don't think we're gonna have any leaks. And, uh, yeah, we'll update you once, uh, we have an update. All right guys, so the truck has been running for about 15 minutes. So it went up to idle. There is no leaks to be found. So we're gonna take this thing for a quick little ride. First time driving it, not just back and forth in the driveway of the shop. So should be fun, excited. So let me get this hood closed up, pulled out, and then we'll see you there. She moves and needs an alignment. All right, gonna get some fuel. We'll see you after we fuel up. First uh, fill up on the B100. All right, so we just fueled it up put 10 gallons in. I'm curious if the gauges work. I don't see why they wouldn't. So let's uh, let's give a look-see over here. Yep, gauges work. And for you guys that are curious, hold on, the gauges are in Spanish, which is pretty cool. And if you want to realize something really cool, bring them over to here, to the U-Haul section, where it's got a fuel economy gauge. Yeah, and it worked. Really? Yeah. I think it goes based on the RPMs though. Oh. Like the engine RPMs. Makes sense. So, awesome. yep, we're gonna drive back to the shop. We'll see you there. All right, guys, so we just got back to the shop and the tires felt like they were a little bit low. So I already filled up three of them. Got this one left. Gonna air it up right now. And then because now the truck's running and driving, I'm gonna go grab the title from my house, go to the tag agency, get this thing registered and plated so we could start driving it. And especially because it's the holiday weekend, if we don't do it today, we're not gonna be able to get it done until next week. So we're gonna do that right now. All 
All right, all aired up. Now I'm gonna head to my house, grab the title, then go to the tag agency. We'll see you guys when we get there. Actually, I decided I wanna put on the original plate that was on the back, because it's an antique Nuevo Leon Mexico plate. So I'm gonna bolt that onto the front right now. And uh, here's the time lapse. Looks pretty cool. Now I'm gonna go to my house. All right guys, so driving right now to my house. Truck feels great. Alignment is still sketchy. I don't know if it's ever been aligned since they lifted it, but uh, it pulls a lot to the left. So being today that is the 23rd of December, I doubt I'm gonna get that fixed. And uh, I'll make an appointment to my alignment shop for uh, whenever they're open next. So we'll see when that is. For now, we're gonna go get it plated so we can start using it for the next few days while uh, the roads are a little bit more empty. We can go have some fun. So we'll see you when we get to the tag agency. All right, so we just came over here to the tag agency, got the truck registered, got a plate, gonna screw it on right now and uh, enjoy the time lapse. They forgot to thread this little bolt. That's crazy. And there we go. Now I'm legal to drive this thing around and uh, we're gonna do plenty of that. So, gotta head back to the shop, drop this off, and then uh, go take someone to the airport. So, uh, we'll see you at the shop. All right, guys, just made it back over here. Gonna put this baby away for right now, but we're gonna be back soon. I need to clean the interior, it's really a mess. The whole truck really needs to be clean, but the interior is super dirty. I mean, it's a white interior. So I've got a bunch of stuff to clean it. And then you can see the back seats not exactly bolted down. So a little bit of stuff I need to do. So when I get back, we're gonna do that. See you in a minute. All right, guys, so I just got back over to the shop, but it's already dark and late. So I'm actually just going to take the B100 home for the night. And uh, we're going to end this video over here. So as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. It really helps me out. If you have any questions or anything, drop a comment below if you just want to say what's up. I want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas if you celebrate it. If not, happy holidays to you. As always, you can head over to FordArrow.com. Got some cool merch, and we will see you tomorrow in the next video.